So today I am gonna talk about Alpha Investments video, Dare Wizards of the Coast, and he's trying to capture their attention. And I do feel like he's made some very valid points and Wizard of the Coast, maybe the higher ups, maybe even the CEO should listen to him because he is right. If changes don't happen, the game will die. And this is not only my belief, this is the stock price has gone down, There's in the, the box sales are going down. Aaron recently asked, um, we did we did this live, the reason I had a live stream was because I saw that post on Twitter. Hey guys, why do you think Magic is dying in local game stores? And it was Brian Kibler, hey, Magic not dying. Give me some more uh, money. So the clear problem right now is it's an echo chamber. So when Aaron, the vice president of Wizards of the Coast for Magic the Gathering, he asks these questions, you're not getting people who actually are casual players. You're not gonna get, um, they probably don't even know who Aaron is, but he's always going to just get the responses from Brian Kibler. Brian Kibler being the guy who promoted the $1,000 pack, who proudly promoted a oh, $1,000 booster box. Sorry, I offend so many of you guys with that. Um, or as Rudy would call it, the $1,100 booster box because it has tax. But like, my point is, why are they asking the guy they paid to promote the most expensive and stupid proxy product in existence? What his opinions are about why the local game store is dying for magic. When the guy has probably never been to a local game store ever before. And at least for a, a long time, because all he does is Hearthstone content. You don't believe me? Go on his channel. It's all Hearthstone content. And then like promotions, like Marvel and whatever. When it's clearly a promotion, right? Why would he be the individual that we would listen to, right? And then why would you want his opinion? I mean, didn't you hire him to like promote your product? You already know his opinion. His opinion is give me some more money. So, I think at the end of the day, Magic has maybe, with current management, maybe five more years left before it just goes to zero. Like I agree with Alpha Investments, this cannot continue. The path, the trajectory, whatever you wanna say, they're current, the, whatever they're currently on and currently doing has, how can I say, as a, a long-term player, the fact that I don't have a buy list in this game and I own a store, that should be enough to tell you because I love getting good deals at buy list. Like why, who wouldn't? It's a buy list. I'm not paying read. I mean, it's a good deal. I'm all about good deals. And I, the fact that I won't touch magic, your, I won't touch your magic collection. If it's sealed, I won't even buy a dual land anymore. I've been on stream to say this. That's where I am personally. And that's where I think a lot of people are because I get emails about these collections and these collections clearly are very, very, uh, these collections have been decades in the making and people are just giving up. They don't want to continue no more. I don't want to continue no more with this game. At the end of the day, there needs to be some change in management. There needs to be some change. If management, which they've done, is asking Twitter, Twitter and Reddit, what changes they should make to no, so if the question is why, okay, okay, the problem is standard is dying in local game stores. Our numbers are way down. We track it with Planeswalker points, DCI numbers, then we'll publish where you live, you know, if we ban you. They know standard in local game stores is dying. There are far less WPN stores than there have ever been. They're dropping like flies, just like my game store, DNA Comics. I can tell you so many game stores that were WPN had 100, 200 people at every pre-release, and now they don't even carry magic. So then Aaron's question, he decides, okay, you know what? I'm gonna ask it on Twitter with no hashtags, and then just have the people who are following me answer this. No, Aaron, you dumbass. You need to ask the game store owners. Do you answer this question? You know, why are local game stores not running events why would you ask Twitter? Why would you ask the people who follow you and the, and the people you follow on Twitter to respond? Why would you ask Brian Kibler? What would Brian Kibler know about? He doesn't own a game store. He doesn't play Friday Night Magic. He doesn't even like magic. 
He doesn't ever post about magic unless it's a paid advertisement, right? It's all just Hearthstone, Hearthstone, Hearthstone. Why would you ask him on Twitter if your question, or, you know, I could find two people. Aaron, what you need to do is you need to go to your local game store, ask the dude in person, hey, you know, attendance is down. Do you have any suggestions? Oh, better promos, you know, hey, maybe, you know, more entry level product, maybe, you know, a, a, a fun, you know, player versus environment, pro pro whatever it is that local game store owner would tell you is much more valuable than what a Brian Kibler would tell you who doesn't own a store and has never, uh, never held an event. To my knowledge, he's also not a judge. He is not involved in gameplay for magic and paper magic at all. Outside of trying to sell us a thousand, eleven hundred, Rudy, eleven hundred dollars, a booster box of product that is absolute garbage. Outside of that, he's not been involved in magic for many, many, many years. So this is the guy we're gonna ask. This is the guy who we're gonna listen to and then he'll have the answers to how we can solve the problem why nobody's playing paper magic. Okay, sounds good to me. So stupid. Or, you know, we go to a local game store, we ask the players, hey, you know, did you guys have some friends who were here and then they didn't like the game? Is the power level too high? Is the mechanics, the rotation too fast? These guys are so out of touch with the game because they themselves, Aaron does not play the game. He doesn't have to go to a local game store. He's never, because if, if he did, he would post pictures. He would brag about it. He would do it. He would promote. I mean, last thing they want to do is promote your local game store, right? They got to promote that Amazon, that Amazon deals, right? So I hope Wizard of the Coast understands that, that their management needs to be fired. They all need to be laid off one by one by one. When a culture is that toxic, as been indicated by many, many sources, uh, I'm not gonna reiterate, but, and when you have upper management asking Brian Kibler, how can we save the local game store? And you don't go out to your local game store and ask these questions to the store owner or the customers or anybody, right? The least likely person to give a reasonable answer is Brian Kibler. He's an entitled influencer who you just paid a bag so he can promote your $1,100 product. Does that person have any inkling what it is like to be a magic player, to be a casual player, to come to Friday Night Magic? Does that person own a store? Is that person a judge and they see that there's less players coming along? Does that person even play magic? Does that person play paper magic? Because that's what you're asking about, paper magic. So I 100% I support Rudy Chan's uh, assessment that, hey, like Wizard of Coast, you gotta get your shit together, my dudes, because um, there will come a time you don't have any customers left. And then there'll be, then you're asked Brian Kibler and Brian Kibler doesn't give a shit about you. He's gonna be like, oh, you didn't pay me. I'm not gonna answer that question. There will be a time where the local game store says no more. Your 10 cent promos are not enough for me to take pictures of my bathroom every month to send to you. And I'm definitely not gonna host no events with smelly magic players. There will be a time the game, the, the uh, magic players, they just leave and they won't go to MTG Arena. They're not going to MTG Arena. They're just gonna straight up leave the game. Play some Minecraft, Fortnite. They have League of Legends, they have other options to do, right, with their time. You might be the best card game, but how long do you think that will last? I, mean, I, I actually, you know, honest God, maybe Magic is, isn't even the best. I think Pokemon is, right? They sell seven trillion dollars of Pokemon, or seven trillion, not dollars, seven trillion Pokemon cards. Maybe Pokemon is it. And you've been just obliterated by your in, own incompetence. Like who, why would you ask that question on Twitter? Like, what are you hoping to like, like get? The casual player is not on Twitter. The game store owner is probably not following you or know who you are. What you need to do is you gotta do undercover boss style and go to all these local game stores around you and then ask these questions to the local game store owner. Ask the questions to the people playing. 
hey, you know, um, how often do you play? What events do you like? Oh, you know, is standard too bad? Is it overpowered by what cards do you play? See the decks they're playing? The dude won't do it. He's lazy as hell. You don't, the dude, it's so easy for him to ask Twitter. And then it's the same people, Frank. We know all about Frank and his uh, machinations, if you will. Same people, Evan. We know all about Evan and Magic Mike's and uh, Aaron and you know that relationship. Same people, Brian Kibler. It's the same people responding to his tweet 20 years ago, or the same people responding to it today, and they're all on payroll. They're all on payroll. What? <laughs> Bye, guys.